In this video, we are going to use the Excel to do um, the chi squat test. It's a little bit complicated, um, but everything is very simple if you just follow the process. Okay, so what we're we looking at is that we wanted to test if the two variables, gender and the adult offense, are independent. Or in other words, maybe mm, we're looking at like males are more likely to do adult offense than the females or maybe on the opposite, the females are more likely to do or conduct adult offense than males. So what, in other words, like whether those two variables are um, related to each other or not. Okay, so in the chi-square hypothesis, the noun hypothesis will be um, the chi-square equals to zero. That basically means there is no statistically significant difference between male and the females regarding their adult offense. Okay. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis will be um, the chi-square is larger than zero. Okay. In other words, there is a statistically significant difference between males and females regarding their adult offense. Okay. Now we're gonna do the step two. Step two is to looking at the distribution and the degree of freedom. So in chi-square test, we use the chi-square. distribution of course okay and also the degree of freedom will be um, a little bit different okay we will talk about that in a few minutes so what are we going to do in the step three is going to looking for the chi square I'm going to copy this one um, looking for the chi-square uh, critical okay so we can compare to the step 4 which is the chi-square um, obtained okay then we can make a conclusion based on the chi-square critical and chi-square obtained Okay, now let's go do this one uh, step by step. And so in order to do the chi-square test, you needed to create some kind of new table, a cross tab we mentioned before. Okay, the cross tab has to show how many females are or did adult offenses and how many females that didn't and how many males did adult offense or how many males didn't do adult offense okay so in order to do that we're just gonna go into create a very uh, a new sheet here okay and put everything clear let me make it bigger okay so we want to go first of all uh, we want to go into take a look at the um, the obtain observed value okay observed the observed value is a value that we already see which is a value in inside of this data okay so the value we in order to like easy um make a new table we're just gonna sort this data based on male or female whatever okay so you would you what you will have is like males and the females and um, the other way is whether they commit adult offense or they not offense no okay this is uh, the cross tab 
right? We mentioned this one. This is a cross tab. So for the mail, uh, we have eight of them and seven of them did a dot offense. One of them did it. For the female, we have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them did. Six of them did. Well, if you just based on this one, it looks like there is a difference, right? You can see uh, the majority of the male did some adult offense when the females are just half-half. So that seems to be there is a difference in here, right? There is a significant difference. But whether there is, we're going to use the numbers to talk about, okay? Now, Based on our formula, we also need the expected. The expected value basically means if there is no difference, what are those numbers look like? Okay, we still need to create a expected um, table. Now, in order to calculate the expected table, we need to calculate the marginal column, marginal um, row. That's it. Okay. So for this one, it's very easy. So for the male, and it's there are eight, twelve, right? And also for this one, it's thirteen and seven. The total is twenty. So for the expected, <coughs> the sum supposed to be the same twenty. 7, 13, right? So the expected uh, number will be um, the marginal column multiplied by the marginal row divided by the total. So for the male who did a yes who or who did a offense, it will be equals to 8 multiplied by 13 divided by 20, right? For no is equals 8 multiplied by 7 divided by 20. Okay, For the female, so that will be equal 12 multiplied by 13 divided by 20. Okay, And for the female who didn't do any offense, adult offense will be equal 12 multiplied by 7 divided by 20. And double check it, are they the same? When they add the two together, 8, that's correct. 12, that's correct. Add them together, 13, that's correct. Add them together, 7, that's correct. Okay. Now we have the expected value and observed value. The observed value is the real data we got. The expected is if there is no significant difference, what we will have, right? And also, Based on the um, chi-square obtained, um, we were going to using the um, expected. Um, I'm going to copy a formula um, from the PowerPoints. Um, the formula is right here okay so i'm going to copy this formula and put it here or somewhere here oh oops um i gotta insert text box okay so the formula here so you can see that we need the sum of the up 10 observed minus the expected and square and take a square root of f. So let's do another thing. So we will make a new table. The male, female, right? Oh, offense yes, offense no. So for this one, this part, basically doing this part, right? So that would be equal. Um, for the observed as 7 minus 5.2 
okay and you have to square and divide it by the expected value okay that's the one you got um for this second one same um the observed one minus the expected 2.8 you have to square it okay divided by the expected 2.8 that's the one you have okay um and for the female the same okay expected i'm sorry observed six minus expected and square it divided by point eight. okay and for the female who did not do any offense the same six minus absurd expected and square it divided by the expected okay now we have all those parts so what do we have is to sum it right did you see the sigma here so we have to sum everything so let me put it here okay so um the chi square of 10 um we still insert a text box uh, so you can see it easy okay So the chi square of ten, okay, uh, that will be the sum of all the four things. So equals to let's see that's the which is a cell, that's a C seventeen right, okay plus C eighteen, that's a second cell plus D seventeen, so and plus the D eighteen. So what you have is the chi square of ten as this two point nine seven. Okay, let's put it back. Now let's take a look at the critical value. So the degree of freedom will be the group of the variable one minus one and the which is two minus one, two minus one. And multiplied by the other group number of the groups in another variable which is also 2 minus 1 so that'll be 1 okay now we have the alpha level point of 5 degree freedom of 1 let's go to the chi-square distribution so you will see this is a chi-square distribution chi-square table we are looking at degree of freedom 1 alpha level 0 0.05 degree of freedom 1 alpha level 0 0.05 it's a 3.84 okay now you will see the conclusion okay the conclusion is since the chi square of 10 is less than chi square critical Uh, got to make it bigger okay so what do we do so we cannot reject the null hypothesis we have to accept the null hypothesis right we the null hypothesis is what uh, the chi square equals to zero so there is no um, statistical difference okay between males and females regarding adult offense okay so once more uh, because the chi-square of 10 is less than chi-square critical we accept the null hypothesis which is there is no statistically difference or 
between males and females regarding adult affairs. That basically means that they are doing um, similar proportion uh, when it goes to the adult affairs. Well, but as you can see, it looks like the males are more likely to do right than when the females are 50-50. But statistically saying this difference is not a stat uh, it's not a statistically significant difference it's a difference but it's not significant now we also can do make the conclusion as we mentioned by using the p value okay so again the p value uh, we have a cut point 05 okay if the p value is larger than 0.05 we cannot reject the noun we accept the noun hypothesis if the p value is less than 0.05 we typically can reject the noun and accept the alternative hypothesis so the p value for this one we can do is going to use the formula um, functions and go into the statistical functions and pick the chi-square test okay the chi-square test and click it and it will give you the actual range and make sure you select the actual range not including the margins marginals okay uh, and also we go into collect expected range here okay and click OK so it give you it will give us the p-value as point um, zero 0.08 and this one compared to this 0 0.05 is that it's larger than 0 0.05 therefore from the p-value although this 0 0.08 is really close to 0 0.05 really close but still it is larger than 0 0.05 therefore we still based on this p-value we will also reject uh, we will also accept the non hypothesis okay we will accept the non hypothesis we accept non hypothesis so there is no statistically difference um, between or there is no statistical difference between males and females regarding adult offense although it looks like there is a difference but the difference is not a significant difference that's it.